Good. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? It's a blessing. You know, it's always a blessing to be able to come down here. Um, you know, as a kid, you you love being a part of this weekend any way possible. And you know, I think this year, I think a lot of us who are in the game came back ready to ready to play uh, for tonight. You know, especially after last year, losing the way we did. But it's just it's a blessing and an honor. For sure, there's definitely some trash talk going around, and especially between the Kings teammates. You know, I think because they they got two and two. So, but um, I'm I'm ready. I think we're all ready. It'd be a lot of fun tonight. Uh, just try and dunk the ball a few times. <laughs> That's for sure. Don, no do you remember the first time in your life you dunked the basketball? Yeah, I was in Harlem, outside. I think it was by the FDR Highway, right off the FDR Highway. It was on a nice little court. And um, I got a dunk, and I was in warm-ups for an AU game, and I just went crazy. I didn't care about the game or any game for that week. I just went and told everybody that I dunked the ball, so that was, that was pretty fun. One of my teammates, one of my best friends, Eric Pascal, he plays for Villanova. He was there. He dunked the same day. His first dunk was literally the same day too. So it's pretty like we share that little special moment. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's he's tough. He's tough. Uh, I shouldn't say that because he went to UK, but uh, sorry. he's tough. He's a good player. You know his his court vision, his poise. His teammates respect him, and at a young age, that's that's something that's really really impressive. You know that teammates respect and, and his work ethic and the way he plays. Um, he's fine tuning his game in many different ways. He's able to get to his spots. Um, never seems too out of out of control, and I think that. That's one thing. He can only get better. And he's, he's tall, too. So as a point guard, it definitely helps. Um, I would say his poise, the poise that he keeps. You know, it's one thing when we were pressuring him and kind of blitzing him in certain situations, he was able to stay calm and straight-faced. And that's not always the case, especially for myself at, at, at a young age like that, or young age now. <laughs> it, all, it all comes full circle, you know, being being around here with, with, with Michael. Obviously, I wear 45 because of my baseball and basketball with Michael. But um, to be here, you know, it's a great honor that the NBA is paying him, but, you know, he's the greatest basketball player of all time, you know, and he always will be. Um, I think that's that's one thing that you got you to give him, you know, like like he said the other day, six championships, you know what I'm saying? So, um, for me to be here, it's, it means a, it means a lot, you know, it, it's it's a blessing, and, you know, it's kind of, everything's kind of coming around full circle. I haven't, I haven't, I have actually never met, yeah, I never met Michael before, so hopefully tonight, this weekend I will. Um, one thing I didn't know about the NBA, like, I've taken a lot away, you know, that the game is a lot faster, quicker pace, up and down. Um, you're allowed to grab situation, certain situations, certain tricks you got to learn. Um, there are a lot of little things that I've learned, but those are a few. It's different when people don't expect you to do much when people then when people do expect you to do something. It's a little it's a little different. Um, and I learned that for about two or three months. I'm starting to figure it out. Um, with Dwayne, man, you know, I went to his, the one last dance dinner last night and it was just sad for me, you know, like growing up you watch him and I, we, they showed a video and I didn't realize how many moments, how many plays we kind of, I'm like, man, like I, I kind of do that, you know, and I never realized the how close you know we were our, our similar similar we are as players and you know like i said i've always gone to him for advice for whatever it is you know just asking him about life in this league you know he won a championship in his third season you know that's that's extremely impressive you know and that's one thing i really always want to ask him about as a young as a young player in this league he got the respect from guys like Shaq, tim hardaway um Karam Butler, like you know, that's that's, that's impressive. Too. That's hard to do as a young guy. So for me, just trying to find ways to better myself, and this being his last All Star game, it's it's sad to see him go. But you know, I think I think he'll go out with a bang this year. Um, as far what is my opinion on it? Um, I know I feel like the players should be able to choose where they want to go. You know, people are gonna have their disagreements. You know, but at the end of the day. If you want to go to a different job, it's, it's your choice, right? You know, just because we you know we play in front of millions of people, I feel like it's judged differently. But you know, at the end of the day, I don't think that's going to stop, especially a guy like AD. You know, it's not going to stop him from doing what he wants. You know, and I think that we all owe him that respect. You know, it's his life, his choice, and you know whether he did it at the time everybody wanted him to, or the time. You know, what I mean, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Um, to improve my game, you know, just trying to work, continue working, you know, not really overthinking things, just going out there and just playing my game. You know, the biggest thing for me is um, not listening to you guys, <laughs> like respectfully, like no offense, but, you know, because there, there's, there's 
times where you're up, there's times where you're down. And if you start last year, you kind of listen to it. This year, it's like, all right, like, if you have a bad game, you hear about it. If you have a good game, you hear about it. So now it's just like not really listening to that too much and just going out there and focusing on the team and what we have. And I think as in Utah, we have a great chemistry as far as being able to lift each other up. You know, um, the one game in Philly had like zero assists. And I remember just getting hit over the head or every time, like no assist. And then like that whole night I had Joe Ingles like just tell me like, you better shoot the ball 35 more times the next night. And then I went out and had 28 and like whatever in Boston. You know, when you have teammates like that, it makes my life 10 times easier. I would say I, I'm pretty active on social media, um, but I would say knowing what to look, what not to look at. You know, if you know, last year it was cool, you know, to see my man Eric, my man Andy, you know, those guys posting an article, like, wow, like I got an article about me, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like, all right, I don't want to listen to it because even if it's good or if it's bad, you know, it's it's you want to keep the same level playing field, and that's one thing I get from listening to that guys like Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade, Kobe, like keeping that same whether you have a great January like I did or you have the November that I had you know you got to keep the same level same mindset because it can be gone like that and it can be here in the matter of blinking or not um I would say House of Highlights my guy Omar uh I like I like Omar um y'all should follow the Jazz account it's pretty funny we got some we got some funny funny people on the Jazz account man I don't know who I think is it you you have it is that you just strictly solely you or both? yeah you guys are doing your job you're doing your job I like um that was a tough decision for me a very tough one but I just know with the the way that I felt last year we came back and we played Portland and I was dead tired after an all-star quote-unquote break you know and i don't think that's how it's supposed to be and you know and as i was much fun as it was you know i think mentally i need to be ready for the second half of the year um i think we all do as a team and i think that's that's really where my focus is at um i may do it in the future but this year i just felt like i needed to just um <laughs> needed to just that's asia wilson right there but you know what i'm saying it's asia wilson. uh but yeah, I wasn't too worried about that. He's gonna surprise a lot of people. Uh, John, John is John's got some bounce. I trained with him the whole summer before we got drafted, so um, he's gonna surprise a lot of people. I know, I kind of know what he has in his bag a little bit. He got some tricks for y'all, but it'll be it'll be dope. Uh, yeah, the sneaker shoot yesterday that was that was dope. You know, I, I put another colorway on IG. Um, just the fact that I had my own shoe, I think, is pretty wild to, to me. Um, but it was it was dope. You know, it kind of just got to be myself and just it, I got to control, you know, everything, what I was doing. And they asked me what I liked about this, what I liked about that, which isn't always the case. You know, and I think Adidas gives me a great platform to kind of be like, all right, I like this, I want to do this, or I don't want to do that. And it was just it was just a lot of fun. I would say forget the speeches. Did you see how many people were in the room? You know, like, that's one thing that got me. Um, you had Magic, you had Pat Riley, you had Isaiah Thomas, you had Carmelo, you had Chris Paul, um, Steve Smith, Grant Hill, Karan Butler. Like you have those guys coming to see him, and they he idolized some of the, most of those guys. Um, like that's that says a lot in itself. The fact that they were willing to come on Thursday night. You know, no one comes on Thursday. No one comes on Thursday night. It's All Star. They come on Thursday night to celebrate him. You know, I think that shows everything in itself. The fact that the agency put on such a big uh, show for him, that shows the willingness for people who are in his everyday lives, the willingness they want to celebrate him. And, you know, that just shows the type of person and the type of impact he's had on people in this game. And that's kind of where I want to do the same. And it's not just what, what he does on the basketball floor. It's you know, what he does as a person. You know, for me, it's giving shoes away to kids before the game. You know, for him, it, it may be, you know, visiting someone's mother or visiting or help building houses, whatever it may be. Like, uh, he left such an impact on the on the game, on and off the floor that I'm trying to kind of replicate because it's it's very, it's just great to see something like that from a, a guy of, of his stature. Commentating the dunk contest on Saturday, um, well, one, I wanted a courtside seat. No, okay. <laughs> um, no, no, no. But I, I, you know, I've always wanted to do that. I wanted to be like kind of Shaq, Kenny, Chuck, and Ernie, all those guys. I kind of wanted to, you know, just experience that. And, you know, I think now would be a great time. I kind of have some knowledge, obviously, of being in it last year. But I think it'd be pretty cool to kind of go out there and, you know, just learn from, from guys who do it on daily basis who also played in this league.
Appreciate it. 2K. Sure. Let's go. What's up?